Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. So again, you could check your work by graphing. You could graph the line um, y equals 1 and the, the line for this or the curve for that and find where they meet and then be done with it. And I encourage you to check your work that way. But come on, this is an Algebra 2 course. you got to balance these equations. So let's try it out. If you have this right here, remember that with logarithms, that means you can take the log base 7 of x minus 4 and x plus 2, the product, and that equals 1. Okay, then what do we do? Well, definition of log, right? We've got 7 to the first equals this. So we can rewrite it. 7 to the first, 7. It equals x minus 4 times x plus 2. And then we distribute x squared plus 2x minus 4x is negative 2x minus 8 equals 7. Subtract 7 on both sides, and we've got a quadratic that we can work with, right? It's equal to 0. And we'll look at um, factors of 15, negative 15. That adds a negative 2. So we can use, what is that, negative 5 and plus 3. Now, in order for this to be true, x could be 5 or x could be negative 3. However, if x is negative 3, we have a problem because right here you've got negative 3 minus 4, and that's negative 7, and you can't take the log Right, look at this log base 7 of negative 7. This has no answer. It's undefined. There's no power of 7, right? 7 to what power would equal negative 7? I don't know how to do this, right? It's undefined. So this answer is rejected. And you should take the time to do this, but it does work with 5. I would definitely plug it in uh, to this equation right here. All right, I hope that helps.